geography the tropical and subtropical regions human environment interactions the tropical and subtropical regions on the basis of climate and temperature the world is divided tropical subtropical temperate and frigid zones the tropical zones are the hot regions while subtropical zones are the warm regions majority of the hot deserts are found in these zones the temperate grasslands are located in the temperate zone latitudinally the region that lies between 10 degree north and 10 degree south is the equatorial region the tropical and the subtropical areas extend up to 25 degree to 35 degree north and south near the coast of tropical and subtropical regions the coral reefs are seen in both the hemispheres climate and vegetation during daytime the climate in the tropical rainforest is characterized by high temperature and humidity at night though the temperature falls the humidity remains high rainforest the tropical rainforest have very thick growth of trees As a result a canopy is formed with the upper leafy branches of the trees this prevents sunlight from reaching the ground so only those vegetation that can grow in the shade is seen here the animal life in these rainforests is numerous and varied there are various species of reptiles birds and mammals in these forests The world's heaviest snake, the 9 meter long anaconda is found here. Tapirs are found not only in Malaysia but also in South American rainforest. People, the natives of these rainforests still hunt and gather food. They also catch fish from rivers. The women take care of their homes. and also participate in growing crops like human clear cutting drying and burning of a patch of forest which is then cultivated with the onset of the rains in northeast india the natives of these rain forest practice slash and burn agriculture the staple food of this region is manioc though most of the houses here are thatched houses There are some large apartment houses called maloka with very steep slanting roofs. Deforestation Due to the developmental activities that are taking place here along with the construction of roads and railways the rainforests are getting destructed at an alarming rate. The illustration on the right shows that soil erosion caused by deforestation is changing the face of rainforest into a barren landscape Amazon basin the amazon basin is a part of south america that lies on both sides of the equator it is drained by the amazon river and its tributaries the basin is located mainly in brazil but also stretches into peru and several other countries like colombia venezuela bolivia and ecuador the south american rainforest of the amazon is 
the largest in the world. The term Amazon is derived from Spanish word Amazonia, which means the women warriors who fought alongside the men in the Roman Empire. Life in the Ganga Brahmaputra Basin. The world's largest delta. The Ganga Brahmaputra Delta is formed at the mouth of the rivers Gangas and Brahmaputra. Near the sea, the marshland forms a very extensive mangrove forest known as the Sundarbans. The rare varieties of flora and fauna that are found here are unmatched. The UN Convention on Wetlands has declared the Sundarbans as a protected area. Climate The climate here is the monsoon type of climate. Here, the summers are hot and winters are cool. Most of the rainfall occurs from mid-June to mid-September. People Even though most of the people are engaged in agriculture, many industries are developing here rapidly. The major crops that are cultivated in the plantations here include tea, coffee and plantains, bananas. Wildlife These forests have a variety of wildlife such as elephants, tigers, deer, etc. Both the rivers Ganga and Brahmaputra are also reservoirs of many types of fish. Transport The transport system in this region is very well developed. All the cities, tourist destinations and pilgrimage centers are connected by a network of transport routes. Pollution One of the main problems that this region faces is the high level of environmental pollution even in the rivers. Case study Matwali Mount village and river Yamuna The Ox Bow Lake in the Matwali Mount village in Bihar was once in danger of drying up. But now it is full of water. This is due to the combined efforts of the fishermen who joined hands and cleaned the lake to cultivate different varieties of fish. The local weed that grows in the lake is food for pisciculture, fish farming. The fertile land around the lake has been planted with trees. In addition to pisciculture, the villagers are engaged in agriculture also, growing many crops like paddy, pulses and maize. Thus, we can understand that this community is living in harmony with nature. In sharp contrast, the river Yamuna in Delhi and some parts of Uttar Pradesh are contaminated by the waste from the densely populated settlements and industries in and around the river. The banks of the river Yamuna are congested with settlements that have rapidly sprung up. The picture at the left of a polluted drain in Delhi is nothing but the once beautiful Yamuna. We have to make a decision whether we must live in conflict or in harmony with nature.